With what feels like a new environmental disaster occurring on our planet every day, it sometimes feels like things couldn't be much worse than what we see on the news. Well, just know that at times things have been worse, and sometimes our world's most terrible disasters are all our fault. Welcome to Environmental Disasters Caused by Humans. 11. The Great Smog of London Back in December of 1952, London experienced a smog event that hasn't been matched in the city since. A few factors contributed to causing it, including some cold weather, no wind, and an anti-cyclone which drew cold pollutants into a thick blanket that covered London. The blanket hung there for days, from December 5th to the 9th, and then quickly dissipated when weather conditions changed. Not only did it affect all kinds of activities in the city, initial numbers showed that 4,000 people lost their lives, and more than 100,000 got sick because of the hovering pollution. Recent research suggests that around 10,000 fatalities occurred in total, with 6,000 more than the initial estimates succumbing in the months following the event. 10. Deep Water Horizon now many of you may remember this disaster, and many others have probably seen the movie with the same name. On April 20, 2010, the drilling rig named Deepwater Horizon was drilling in the Gulf of Mexico at the Macondo project when a blowout occurred and resulted in an explosion on the rig. Eleven crewmen perished in the blast that caused a fireball that could be seen some 40 miles away. The fire raged on and on as no effort was able to put it out, and two days later, Deepwater Horizon sank into the sea. This left the well open and pouring out into the water and caused the worst ever oil spill in United States waters. The rig sank on April 22nd. It took until July 15th to get it sealed off, and by that time, roughly 130 million gallons of oil had gushed into the Gulf. 9. Amoco Cadiz Speaking of oil spills, the Amoco Cadiz VLCC, or Very Large Crude Carrier, was a crude oil transport for Shell Oil that made a giant mess of things. On March 16, 1978, at Port Sol Rocks near Brittany, France, the Cadiz narrowly avoided another ship, and her rudder jammed in the process. While attempting to repair it, the wind picked up and pushed her six nautical miles toward the shore and after several attempts to have a tugboat slow its drift, she collided with a rock and the troubles intensified. Around 35 minutes after hitting the initial rock, a hole was torn through her hull. Then the weather turned and eventually helped to split the ship into three pieces, and before any of the oil she was carrying could be pumped out, she sank. This resulted in a fantastic amount of oil, right around 243,478 tons spilling directly into the sea, which caused widespread ecological devastation. In the history of oil transportation, it was the most massive spill of its kind, and that record still stands today. 8. Al Mishrak Fire Back in June of 2003, somebody in Iraq thought it would be a good idea to set a sulfur plant near the city of Mosul on fire. The fire pumped right around 21,000 tons of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere every day, and it burned for three weeks. This made it incredibly devastating, and it went down in history as the biggest ever human-made release of the toxic gas. Mosul experienced an incredible level of pollution around this time, with much of the vegetation in the area being killed off, and many people were taken to the hospital due to toxic gas inhalation. This wasn't the only time the plant was set ablaze though. In 2016, militants of ISIL once again purposefully lit it on fire. This time, only 161,000 tons of sulfur dioxide was released into the atmosphere over seven days. 7. Love Canal now you may know Niagara Falls as being a beautiful, serene setting with a waterfall that is almost mind-blowing in its scale. But did you know that not far away a neighborhood called Love Canal had to deal with some pretty disturbing stuff not long ago? Back in 1890, Love Canal was planned out to be a thriving, picture-perfect community, but it was only ever partially finished and the project collapsed. So what better way to honor the intentions of it than to make it a dump site for refuse from the city of Niagara Falls? That's what happened in 1920, and things got even worse in 1940 after Hooker Chemical Company purchased it. They used the dump site to get rid of the chemical byproducts that came from developing things like perfumes and dyes, and solvents for things like synthetic resins. In 1953, countless families were displaced after it was found that public health was being affected by the dumping, and many 
many were left with long-term health problems, including leukemia. 6. Gulf of Mexico Dead Zone Now, we are sure you can gather that a place called Dead Zone isn't a good thing. Well, most summers, just off the coast of Louisiana in the Gulf of Mexico, a dead zone occurs where the mighty Mississippi meets the sea. This gigantic drainage basin is one of the most, if not the most, famous hypoxic zones in all of America. And it is the way it is because of us. Due to treated sewage being fed into the river, as well as agricultural runoff, the area is a literal dead zone for months at a time. We wouldn't recommend swimming there even when it isn't a full-on dead zone. Agriculture alone was responsible for more than 1.7 million tons of nitrogen and phosphorus ending up in the Gulf of Mexico back in 2009. Just how big is this zone? It varies from year to year, but in 2017 when it set a record, the zone measured about 8,776 square miles. 5. Gaius E-Waste Gaiyu is a town in China located in the Guangdong province, and it's widely considered as the world's largest electronic waste site. Back in 2005, 100 truckloads of electronic waste would be brought to the town every single day, and it took some 60,000 e-waste workers to process all of it. Oh, and you should probably know that the area they were bringing it into measures only 20 square miles. The constant dropping off of new electronics and processing of existing hordes of the stuff has led to the area becoming extremely toxic and harmful. Gaiyu was a rice village at one point in time, but the pollution and toxins from the waste have made it unable to grow crops, and the river is so contaminated that the water is undrinkable. Gaiyu now has the nickname Electronic Graveyard of the World, and it's pretty easy to understand why. What really stinks about this situation? It's believed that most of the countries that the waste is imported from are developed, and a lot of this waste is labeled as charitable donations, making the slap in the face hit that much harder. 4. Bayamara Back in 2000, Oro, a joint venture gold mining company, faced a pretty big problem. Near Bayamara in Romania, their operation experienced a bit of a leak of cyanide. Not only was it leaking cyanide, but it was doing so into the Somes River, and the polluted water quickly spread elsewhere. Eventually, it reached the Tisa, which is one of the central rivers in Europe, and from there, it hit the Danube. It killed tons and tons of fish in Romania and Hungary, and it contaminated some 2.5 million Hungarians' drinking water. The cyanide levels reached concentration 700 times what is permitted, and this is commonly referred to as the second worst environmental disaster behind Chernobyl ever to happen in Europe. 3. Aral Sea This lake between Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan, whose name translates to Sea of Islands because of the 1100 islands that once shone above its waters, is now basically a dry, barren desert. Once upon a time, it was the fourth largest lake in the entire world, and measured right around 26,300 square miles. But, due to Soviet irrigation projects, it's been shrinking since the 1960s. The projects diverted the rivers that fed the Aral Sea, thus making it only a matter of time before it became what it is today. It was already 10% smaller than it was initially by 1997, and it split into four separate lakes. The southeastern lake had wholly dried up by 2009, and the southwestern lake was left as nothing but a tiny strip of water. By August of 2014, the eastern basin of the sea had dried out as NASA satellite images showed, and it hasn't come back. That area is now known as the Aralcom Desert. Desperate to save the North Aral Sea, dams and other measures were put in place, and the tiny sea seems to once again be thriving. But the rest of it is gone, and it's been called one of the planet's worst environmental disasters. 2. Bhopal Gas Tragedy In Bhopal, Madhya Pradesh, India, a chemical company called Union Cable Carbide India Limited had a pesticide plant that had a significant gas leak occur back in December of 1984. At the plant, there were storage tanks which contained liquid methyl isocyanate, MIC, which could be pumped from the tanks as needed. In October 1984, one of the tanks lost most of its nitrogen gas pressure, which made it able to pump out the MIC. In December of the same year, an attempt at repressurizing occurred and failed. Many of the lines and valves around the plant were in terrible condition by that point, and most of the safety systems were experiencing malfunctions. On the night of December 2nd, water made its way into the side of the failed tank, and a runaway exothermic reaction took place. 
A leak was found after employees began feeling the effects of exposure to the MIC gas, but supervisors decided that the problem could wait until after a tea break. The leak then worsened and released 33 tons of the gas in an hour, and another 11 tons in the second. No one in the surrounding areas was warned, and many were unexpectedly exposed. The hospitals didn't know how to treat the exposed, and within a day, thousands had lost their lives. The official overall count today is 3,787, though 16,000 were claimed to have perished, and the number exposed was more than 500,000, most of who suffered extreme long-term effects. We've seen some scary disasters so far, and we still have the top spot to go. Before that, we'd like to ask, what's the craziest thing caused by us humans that you've been around for? Let us know in the comments below. 1. Chernobyl While Chernobyl didn't necessarily have the highest body count, it did have a considerable impact on the environment and still does to this day. This terrible accident took place between April 25th and 26th in 1986, close to the town of Pripyat, Ukraine, during a safety test that was simulating a station blackout power failure. The thing is, the number four nuclear reactor's core had been arranged wrong before the test, on top of it having design flaws. So the test quickly turned into a real-life catastrophe after a steam explosion occurred and ignited an open-air graphite fire. The fire caused updrafts to pump fission products into the atmosphere for nearly nine days, causing radioactive material to rain down onto parts of the USSR and other countries in Europe. Loss of life due to the event is officially tabulated at 28 direct fatalities and 15 indirect, although it's believed that up to 4,000 have suffered from cancer directly related to the radiation from the Chernobyl. Estimates put the amount of radioactivity released at 400 times more than the amount produced by the atomic weapons used on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and the fallout contaminated around 38,610 square miles of land. Scientists have given a time frame of about 20,000 years until Pripyat is habitable again. If you enjoyed this video, do us a favor and give it a like. Subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any of our excellent uploads, and check out this next video we picked out just for you.